Have you ever wanted to know why gold pans work? Why you're left with nothing but gold at the bottom of your pan? We're talking about two principles today, density and friction. Every gold pan you're ever gonna use relies on the density of gold to sink to the bottom through the process of stratification. Stratification means to classify things into group. And when it comes to gold panning, that means grouping together minerals of similar density. By shaking the pan side to side, back and forth and round and round, you are forcing all of the material to organize itself into the heaviest to the lightest of materials. And because gravity is such a strong force in this case, it means that all the heavy things sink to the very bottom of the pan. Yes, by a long way. Look at that, actual speck. However, gold is not the only heavy thing that will be found in a gold bearing creek. You'll find gemstones, several types of different black sands, including magnetite, hematite, and cassiterite, and all manner of man-made objects like steel and buckshot. These elements can make it incredibly difficult to refine your gold down to nothing but gold. However, there is a major benefit of having them in your pan, and that is friction. Gold is 19 times heavier than water and almost twice as heavy as lead. That means when you're panning, it's likely the most dense thing in the entire gold pan and it's gonna go right to the very bottom of the riffles. But the thing that keeps it safe is the density of the black sand sitting on top of it. You can see that in action here. That nice big quartz pebble up the back riffle is just bouncing on top of the black sands and is unable to penetrate through it because of friction. The other minerals in your gold pan are half as dense as gold, yet they are still so dense that things such as quartz have absolutely no chance of being able to penetrate and sink through them. That means when you stratify, the other dense materials in the pan settle in on top of the gold and nothing is able to penetrate through them to scoop the gold up and out of your pan. They are literally working like a shield. And it's in this manner that we're not only able to sink the gold to the bottom, but also retain it.